So we're back again with yet again another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we have cleared out completely the Shadow Temple. Yep, pretty much it. Not that long of a dungeon, uh, per se, but hey. In this episode, we're going to go and take on the next province known as the Gerudo Valley, so let's get on a nice little ride on the Epona, shall we? So, again, I never really appreciate this for what it is in the episode, but I just want to say that riding on Epona throughout Hyrule Field is probably the most relaxing thing I can just ever do again in any Zelda game that I've played. It's just being able to do that after this long of not touching the game for eight years or... No, ten, I'm sorry. is just great. But, hey, if you go ahead and bonk open that tree right in the top left corner of Hyrule Field, we can drop on down here and discover that there's something beneath this water with the tag tight on it. So, go ahead and jump on in the water and throw on our iron boots as well as our little Zora tunic here. We don't really need the Zora tunic. We can, we can survive, like, two minutes underwater without the Zora tunic, but, hey... Go on and sink down and pick up the 33rd heart piece right down here. So, hey, uh, normally you would be able to get this with a golden scale, but hey, we have the Zora tunic and the iron boots, so hey, we don't need the golden scale for what this is right down here. So, let's go ahead and rise on back up to the surface and head towards Gerudo Valley. So, I am led to believe that if we approach Gerudo Valley here at, during the evening time, it would be much more beneficial because there's some collectibles to get here at the entrance, uh, right after we cross the bridge that is kind of destroyed here, so let's go ahead and make our way in, and yeah. Gerudo Valley is probably my uh, most favorite places in Ocarina of Time when it comes to the music, so I regret having to turn off the music now, but hey, it's, it has to be nighttime for this. Um, yeah, we can, we're going to listen to it a bunch in this episode uh, after this, trust me. Anyway, let's go ahead and chart our way on over here. And if you go ahead and, you don't have to do this either, but if you go and uh, bust open these little rocks here, we already have a full wallet, but there's some pretty good moolah in this chest right beyond us. Right here, so. Go ahead and bust that on open, and 50 rupa, right there. Anyway, but in all seriousness, we're going to go ahead and obtain the 86th Skulltula right on this wall. Link. You, you want to do the thing? The, the, there you go. G give me, give me Skulltula. 86 Skulltula, right there. Okay. The 87th one is going to be right behind this tent that you see here. Uh, right behind this guy that we gave the poacher saw to in the Big Iron Sword quest here. So, go ahead and chart our way on behind that. And, yep, there he is. We can just kind of hear him. You know, I, I really never wondered why does it have to be evening time with the Skulltulas? Like. Do they possess, like, evil spirits that are just, you know, conquering all of Hyrule? Like, does it have to be evening time, just like the the, the, the Redeads and the Pose? <laughs> Even though they can come out during the day, I mean, still, it's just, yeah. But hey, since we have that on out of the way, we can just go ahead and chart our way through on right over here. Pretty simple enough, right? <laughs> Alright, so, the key idea here is that there's four carpenters that we have to save here in Druda's Fortress, so it's much more beneficial to do this as well as nighttime, because... There is another Skulltula just kind of waiting on, uh, beyond the walls here. So, we're going to go ahead and obtain that Skulltula right after. So, yeah, that's that's going to be the 88th Skulltula, uh, according to my knowledge. But, hey, we want to get in, we're going to get a little, a little yeah, get our bow ready, because we're going to have to take out some Gerudo guards at some point. But, hey, this dialogue here is going to repeat four times. I'm going to go ahead and read it uh, the first time, so I don't have to do it again. Hey you, young man over there. Look over here, inside the cell. I have no idea where you come from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are imprisoned somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. But be careful, there sure are to be some Druida guards somewhere around here. Whew, watch out! So. Fighting Gerudo Guards. This brings back the Majora's Mask vibe, right? From Pirate's Fortress. So, go ahead and just jab these girls on out of here. Nope. Yeah, you're not gonna... You're not taking me out that easy. But, <laughs> If you see her kind of, like, wind up like that and then hit you, you'll get thrown in jail if you take a big hit like that. So, yeah. The dialogue after you save the Carpenters here is gonna be different every time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and read that. Did you come here to save me? Oh, that's just twel. Swell. I'm Akira the Carpenter. We were really interested in joining their all-female group, but they locked us up like this just because we're men. Now that we're men, we have facial hair. Now that we're men, yeah. the SpongeBob movie. <laughs> My gosh, we don't care about the Gerudo anymore. They're so rude. 
Three of my fellows have also been captured. So please help out. Uh, please help them escape, too. Okay. Whatever you say, man. Uh, the carpenters are just so joyous running away. <laughs> Actually, but in all seriousness, we have three more of them to save, so let's go ahead and obtain whatever these pots have to offer. What does this box have in it? A single rupee. Yeah, that's very helpful in this day and age, right? In this economy, it's like, ugh, moolah is just moolah. But hey, go and try your way through on that entrance right there. We're going to go on... Go. Take, do, take a right. A couple of rights, that is. When we exit this way, there's going to be a Gerudo guard that's shootable uh, right beyond this little ledge. Let's go ahead and uh, pop her out on right over there. Because she will kind of notice us if we don't uh, take her out with a bow. They come back to life, don't worry. You didn't kill them or anything. All right. But yeah, like, I always wondered why they are capturing men these days. Is it because Ganondorf, because he's a guy, it's just... They should capture all men just because Ganondorf is the leader of the Gerudos? I mean, come on. It's like, just because one bad guy exists doesn't mean that all guys are bad. Like, Gerudo guards, like, you don't have to be that radical sometimes. I mean, come on. The Gerudo race, I mean, they're pretty ruthless and very thieving, I'll say that. But man, they don't have to go all that all out. But hey, go ahead and take this one on out as well. Come on. Uh, you want to do your thing? There you go. And grab that key. Alright. You're a cute kid. D huh? Okay, I'm just gonna pretend that I, didn't even, that I didn't even read that at all. Thank you for coming to save me. I'm Gyro the Carpenter. These women are so scary. I'd rather work as a carpenter than join them. I can't wait to say goodbye to this place. Two of my buddies are still... You know, I really never wonder, or like, realized, how do they know how many we have left to save? They didn't even leave. So, <laughs> kind of baffling, I know. But, anyway, go ahead and follow him on out. And yeah, anything in the pots? Anything pot-worthy? I'm not going to say that again. I will not say that again at all. But go ahead and leave, and approach this little entrance right here. Okay? This will lead on to this little place. You can use the hook shot for this, but here's a trick. If you equip the hover boots, you can just go ahead and trot your way on across like that. No hook shot needed, no nothing. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and, and obtain the 88th skull to right across this void. Is If we just walk on over here. He's going to be right up on the wall. There we go. 88th skull to there you go. All right. The next thing right after is that we're going to climb up some vines here. Vines are just very... Beautiful in Zelda games, uh, as according to my knowledge, in Ocarina of Time, we can just go ahead and climb those here. But there's going to be a lingering chest right after we climb these vines off to our left side here. So, go ahead and approach the northern side of the Gerudo Valley, because according to the map, we are going there right now. And, yeah, get on our hook shot here. You need a long shot for this, by the way. It's not going to work if you don't. Go ahead and hook shot your way on over. And what does this chest have inside? That's the 34th heart piece. Go ahead and make sure you pop this on open on top of the Gerudo's Fortress, and you're set to go, man. All right. The next carpenter is going to be right off of this ledge right here. Go ahead and fall off. And right in this little hole right in front of us, we are going to find the next carpenter. But before we do any of that, let's go ahead and crack our bow on back. There's going to be a Gerudo guard right, up, right behind the box. Yep. Take her on out, and she will not be seen again. <laughs> In all seriousness, let me go ahead and take off the uh, the hover boots here. They're going to kind of uh, deter me in my battle against the Druda guards, but hey. Yeah, yeah, the, the dialogue here is the same every time that you greet one, but the dialogue is different when you save them, so I kind of don't know why. You know, Druda's Fortress is really kind of freaky when you first enter, but hey, you kind of you kind of befriend these guys uh, after a good while, but and to do that, you got to be pretty smart, but hey, not really. Not really at all. Being able to fight them is a gift because we can show off our skills, man. Anyway, Gerudo, leave me alone. You're 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 not better than me. You can't tell me what to do. You're not gonna tell me to eat my vegetables. Oh my god. Yeah, a Gerudo just like swinging her sword that's like red, just right above the screen is like hilarious. And I still got it when the when the battle music is playing. That's kind of hilarious. Yeah, yeah, jump. All right. 
What's up, man? Thanks, boy. You're fantastic. I'm Saburo the Carpenter. Have you seen our boss boy? He's probably worried about me. I have to get back to him immediately. One more of our workers is still a prisoner. Please save him. And where might he be, you ask? Well, he's going to be right outside of this entrance. Let's go ahead and uh, leave the same way that we came in. And she's still dead. <laughs> Alright, not really. She's going to come back to life. There's just stars in her eyes. She's just, she's not dead. But hey, go ahead and jump off this ledge and approach off to the right. And there we go. Okay. Approaching on that left side there. We can go ahead and crack these pots on open. And, you know, the wallet's full, but I really don't need those rupees anyway. But hey. It is what it is. What's up, man? How's it going? You know, I really feel bad for these guys. All they want to do is work, and they just have to sit in the cell all day and say, Hey, we're not going to make our money. Not, we're not going to make our money for the day because you, you, the women imprisoned us because uh, Ganondorf is a bad man because you, be, be, because he's bad because they think that all men are bad because we, we're just locked up in the cell here. Oh, poor guy. Hey, this is the fourth carpenter. Go ahead and save him on out of here. Yeah, nice try, nice try, Gerudo, but you're not going to go ahead and fool me that easily. And we have the key. Very simple. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. Now I'm free. Thanks. I'm Shira the Carpenter. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard Gerudo's talking about. Oh, by the way, if you notice the ends of their names, Gyro uh, and Kohiro, or Kohiro, the, the Kaku... I don't know, but is the blue chicken related to the Gerudo race, according to these, not the Gerudo race, but these carpenters, because they're so-called members of Kakariko Village, because there's also carpenters there, but I don't know. They say in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of the, of the wasteland. Okay, now I'm going back to my tent near Gerudo Valley, so drop by sometime. You may find something helpful there. Bye! His bye is just... Always joyous. Poor guy. I've seen your fine work. To get past the guards here, you must have good thieving skills. I used to think that all men, besides the great Ganondorf, were useless, but now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Naboro, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Naboro is the second in command to the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo thieves. Her headquarters are on the Spirit Temple, which is at the far side or at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? Alright then, you're in from now on. Take this, with it, you will have free access to all areas of the fortress. And we have the Gerudo's membership card, you can get into the Gerudo's training ground. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and show that as like an endgame sort of thing, but hey, now that we have this, we're gonna go ahead and change it to daytime, because there's something pretty nifty to pick up right behind the fortress. We're going to do some target shooting. Yes, target shooting is very therapeutic here in Ocarina of Time. So, hey, we're going to go ahead and pick up th two things with that. A giant quiver and the next heart piece, which I believe is the 35th one. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Opponent should be right over here. Um, the fundamental amount of arrows you're going to get in the minigame that I'm about to play is 20. The first time, if you score over 1,000 points, it will not matter. You will still get the heart piece, which I kind of feel sucks anyway, because you have to get 1,500 points the second time that you play it. So with that, you'll get the giant quiver. But All right, we're just going to go ahead and chart our way on across and find the Gerudo that is just right here. Let's go ahead and talk. Hey, newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but... Okay, how about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you could score 1,000 points, I will give you something good. Do you want to try for 20 rupees? Sure. Target shooting is therapeutic. If I miss the first pot, then I'm just going to go ahead and get it the second time. This is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and keep this up. And with this, we're going to go ahead and get the 35th heart piece. <laughs> 1,000 points is really easily uh, obtainable because it's just really keeping your eye on the target and keeping your eye on the prize as well. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and 
draw out some extra points here because we can. All right. Fantastic. You are a true master. I will give this to you. Keep improving yourself. The 35th heart piece? There you go. Alright, awesome. Play that for 1,000 points and you will get that, but we're going to go ahead and play it a second time for another upgrade, which is going to be uh, the giant quiver. We're going to get that in this episode. So, alright. Hey, rookie, you're looking good. Uh, yeah, 1,500 points and you're good to go. Yeah, yeah, I'll try. For I got the moolah, so we're going to go ahead and try it again. Hopefully not screw it up this time. Hey, horse, don't want to hit you either. Ah, I missed that pot, but oh well. I was really worried about that one, but hey, 30 points over the uh, the minimum that you need to get the quiver, but hey, we did it. I'll be darned, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take good care of the quiver, and there you go. Giant quiver. Okay? Awesome. Now, we may think that we're done with the archery area, but we're not. There is another Skulltula, which I believe is the 89th one, here in the archery uh, little field thing right here, whatever you want to call it, but let's go ahead and hop on Epona. Where you at, girl? I gotta play the horse's song again, and I don't feel like it, but hey. I'm sweating my butt off in the desert, and I gotta play the song again when opponent was just right next to me, but... <laughs> Come on over. Come on over. Alright. We're just gonna go ahead and obtain the next Skulltula, their 89th one, right over on this target, way across the archery field, so... Let's go and do that. Eh. Uh, here we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and hop off and get that heart piece. Heart piece, the skull tool, mind you, but hey, that's the 89th one. So there you go. Alright, now we can change it back to daytime and approach the Desert Colossus. We're going to be on our way in no time. This is going to be so freaking cool. Alright, let's go ahead and get there. Alright, so if you go ahead and approach this ladder right on the right side of the Gerudo Valley, or the Gerudo's Fortress, and just climb on our way up and talk to this Gerudo here, since we have the membership card, we can go ahead and approach the desert. Hey, rookie. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but you can't cross the desert unless you can pass the two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags we place there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Those without the eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You are going anyway, aren't you? Well, I won't stop you. Go ahead. So a little bit of a life hack for those who have not played Ocarina of Time but really want to. Um, you will have a much better time walking in the sand if you have the hover boots on, so go ahead and use that. We're going to need them anyway for something that I'm going to kind of show here. But, hey, let's kind of read this sign first and see what it says. Haunted Wasteland. If you chase a mirage, the desert will swallow you. Only one path is true. Alright, let's head on our on way in. Now, this little void here is not walkable. You have to use your long shot and get that box right in the center there. Okay? Make your way on across. And follow the flags. And there will be a sign here guiding us to someone who is uh, more of a carpet merchant. And he will just kind of be a scammer, per se. All those reckless enough to venture into the deep desert, please drop by our shop. The carpet merchant. Now, something very familiar about this guy that you may notice. Um, if we go ahead and purchase carpet, this guy is, believe it or not, the... Uh, swordsman trainer from Majora's Mask, so yep, everybody from that game is present here except they have different roles per se. 
Welcome. I'm selling stuff, strange and rare, from all over the world. To everybody. Today's special is... A dangerous running object. Terrifying. I won't tell you what it is unless, see, unless I see the money. How about 200 rupees? You know, since we have the money, I may as well. Bomb shoes. I've never paid that much money for bomb shoes, ever. But, hey, if you have not done most of the side quests already, if not all of them, now you know what to avoid. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. What I'm selling is... Bomb shoe. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to put an S, like, right behind that to make it plural? I mean, I mean, come on, man. The mark that will lead you to the spirit temple is the flag on the left, outside the shop. Be seeing you. Alright, you, you dummy. You know, I got scammed, but hey. We can make the, we can make back the money, or at least a quarter of it, right uh, beyond the entrance of these flags. We can approach here. There will be a void, or at least an area that you can drop down and pick up 50 rupees from, but go ahead and follow the flags. And get on in there. I'm going to stop talking for a little bit. Okay, so if you go ahead and drop on down this little area. And I did take some damage there, but hey, this is the 90th Skulltula, according to what I'm gonna pick up here. I'm gonna go ahead and double check anyway, so just making sure myself. Yep. Actually, what am I? if you go ahead and equip Den's Fire as well, or the Fire Arrows, it doesn't matter, but... Or just Den's Fire. You can get a chest right up in here. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Yep, 50 rupees. We made back a quarter of the money that we just lost to the carpet merchant, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and equip our Eye of Truth here, since we're going to need that in a very, very second. Let's go ahead and do that. And if you actually listen close if you're playing the game, the ghost you can hear is floating right above the sign, so... One with the Eye of Truth shall be guided to the Spirit Temple by an inviting ghost. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me, and don't be slow. Alright. We know what to do, just follow the ghost and you'll be fine. Welcome to the Desert Colossus. Very daunting. But if we actually go ahead and approach this right side here between these palm trees, we can bust down our rocks as... rocks, our bombs as well as the ocarina. So this will be the fourth great fairy guide, or great fairy upgrade that we're going to go ahead and approach right beyond this cracked wall here. And we're going to pick up the third element known as Nehru's Love right behind this. Well, let's go ahead and pick that up right now. I don't know why I play the princess's lullaby so bad these days. Welcome, LSP. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it.
You got Nehru's Love. Cast this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with the sea. <laughs> Nehru's Love is an effect for only a limited, a limited time, so use it carefully. This perspective, Great Fairy, do you have to make it that obvious? Oh my god. Okay, I'm not going to visualize that again with the Great Fairy, but hey. Before going anywhere else, we're going to go ahead and approach the western side of the Colossus because there is a tree there with a Skulltula right on the side of it. So let's go ahead and go straight, all the way straight, and make it nighttime. So right here, we can go ahead and play the Sun Song and make it evening. So we're going to find the Skulltula, the 91st one, right on a little bit of a tree here. But make sure that you're standing in the pit. In the pit is where the enemies can't get you, but if you go ahead and look this tree right here. You can see the Skaltula just kind of chilling and vibing there. But if you go ahead and use your hook shot there again, the hitbox for it is pretty big, so. Yep, 91st Skaltula. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure anyway, because the memes. Yep. Alright. Let's go ahead and make our way into the temple and find out what awaits us. And these two pots are just really notorious for being in our way, but hey. We can't really do anything here yet, but we can just gonna just kinda go ahead and just appreciate the atmosphere that this place has to offer. Let's go ahead and read these signs here that kind of let us know which way awaits us. If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. If you want to proceed to the past. You should return here with the pure heart of a child. Yep, none of which we have right now, so let's go ahead and leave. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's Flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. You have learned the Requiem of Spirit. Okay, and with that, we have done enough for this episode. So in the very next one, we will approach our way in to the Spirit Temple. This is going to be so, so cool. With that... Stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, or anything else, and peace out, everyone.